we had a, a meeting about our first production car, and there happened to be a, a little sketch of something that wasn't the production car. One of the designers was doodling on a kind of a crazy performance car looking thing. It was, it was just a radical sculpture. It didn't really have any um, um, place in this, this company at that time. And Nick picked up the sketch and he said, no, that's not the, that's not the car we're working on. That's like a crazy race car. And I was like, yeah, you know, it's just a doodle. It's not a big deal. He said, but our platform can support a car like this. That's the beauty of our platform. Like we can do a car like this. And then I said, okay, let's do a car like this. And he's like, okay, let's do a car like this. <laughs> so it just happened. And that's like, well, that's the thing. Like, so we were busy as hell and it was only a few of us at the time. That's just like seven months ago. And, um, you know, it was 15 hour days already. It was every weekend. And then on top, we would meet Nick, Nick Sampson, at night or you know, on, a week, on the weekend. And we would do this little skunk works thing on the side. One night, I was uh, after we vaguely finished work or whilst uh, wandering around seeing how things were going, uh, I wandered into Richard's office and there, there on the side was a picture of a, a cool looking sort of race car, supercar type product and so uh, I've always been partly wondering in my mind what the heck we'd do if we put something different on the top of our incredibly powerful, super dynamic uh, platform that we're developing. So immediately when I saw it, I said, hey, that's what we want to put on top of our platform. 